I imagine that you knew this party was going to crumble a little bit, but did you think it would be this bad? I don't think anybody, I mean, on the, uh, I think the day after the election, everybody kind of collectively woke up and said, oh my God, what has happened to the Liberal Party? And not just in the party, but people who care about the country having a, having a strong centre. And so I think at that point, um, you know, you can either just sort of watch it melt away or say, I have something to contribute and I want to help. So I decided that I had to give up the balance of being able to eat well play tennis, yeah. lose weight, you know, kind of like a natural life and kind of get back into the rat race Are you again. suggesting that the Liberal Party is bad for your health? <laughs> Politics is bad for your health. <laughs> but you, you felt like Paul Martin and then pushed you out, right? Well, at the time of the... Uh, Partly because you're a woman, too, you said that, right? I think it was a, a change of leadership and I think at the time Paul was so strong that he figured that he would probably present an image of a different party and I was not part of that image so at the time there's implication that gender played a role did you feel that way do you still feel that way I, I didn't think that so much gender was an issue I think it was more that I was seen as part of the old crowd of okay. people that had actually been in cabinet and as a mouthy broad well you, you do tend to become a lightning rod for people <laughs>